Now to high school sports and we'll open up today with Streeter taking on the host Metamora in softball. First up, a heads up play in left field by Metamora as Bailey Bender grabbing one right at the knees. A great play by her to save an absolute hit. Then with the game tied 4-4 to in the bottom of the sixth, Ellie Schaefer lines a double down the left field line, scoring both at Addison LaHood and Kennedy Knee to take the 6-4 to lead. And in the end, it was Nora Johnson closing it out for Metamore, and she got the complete game as well today. Really a great performance from her. And they'd end up taking this one 7-4 to over Streeter. Continuing with softball, we now go to the East Side Center as East Peoria hosted Peoria Richwoods today for a crosstown matchup. Starting off for East Peoria, it was Gabby Lane who was able to get a single just past the third baseman shown right here. She'd end up scoring Gracie Ahrens and Sydney Sawyer on the play here. And then just a couple of batters later for East Peoria, still in the first inning, Kiara Brown was able to line one up the middle, scoring lane from third. And East Peoria would end up taking this one 11-1 to over Peoria Richwoods. Now to baseball as Tremont traveled the Morton for an interconference matchup. Starting it off in the fourth inning for Tremont, it was Blaine Williams with a double all the way to the wall, and he ended up scoring Griffin Meeker all the way from first. Later on in the fifth, it was Morton's Hudson Lavelle with a liner up the middle, and he ended up bringing in Drake Paul for the RBI single. In the end, it was Morton who ended up winning this one 6-2 off the backs of their pitch pitcher Noah Settles, who had a five hitter and five strikeouts. A big show, soccer showdown has Middle Illini Power Morton taking on Big 12 Power Normal Community. Normal Community getting tested early here, but a great save by Erica Lofson to prevent the would-be goal. On the ensuing corner kick for Morton, it was Sophie Davila with a beauty of a dead ball, and she finds the head of the freshman Claire Sarisa to go up 1-0. Later on, it was Sophie Davila again dribbling past the defender and goes lower 90 with the left footer, and Morton goes on to take this one 2-0 over Morton.